You think you know Rosa Parks, but do you really know her? I mean, really, really know her? Rosa Parks was a civil rights activist, wife, caretaker, house cleaner, and seamstress. Rosa Parks made a big difference to the civil rights movement. Rosa McCauley was born in Tuskegee, Alabama on February 4, 1913. Rosa had a mother named Leona, a father named James, a younger brother named Sylvester, and a grandma and grandpa. Her mother was a teacher and she loved her job. Her father was an accomplished carpenter. Both of her grandparents resided and worked on a farm. Her brother, Sylvester McCauley, lived from August 20, 1915 to November 27, 1977. Sylvester and Rosa had a happy and healthy relationship. Rosa's parents got divorced when she was only two, and that's when she went to live on the farm. Rosa, her mother, and Sylvester moved to Pine Level, Alabama to settle on her grandparents' farm. On the farm, they mostly grew vegetables and raised chickens. When she was young, she often enjoyed fishing in school. She went to a school that was much smaller and inept because she was an African American, and back then, African Americans couldn't go to the same schools. While Rosa lived on the farm, close by, a group called the Ku Klux Klan, or KKK, were tormenting other African Americans. They burned down their houses, tortured them, and often when they walked past Rosa's farm, her grandfather would sit outside and wait with a shotgun. The police did nothing to stop the attacks. After a few years, her, her brother, and mother settled in Montgomery, Alabama. Once when she was young, a boy threatened to hit her. Rosa put a brick in his hand and told him to go ahead and do it. After that, the boy left her alone. She eventually went to a school for blacks, but white teachers there treated them as equals. This is where Rosa found someone who critically influenced her life. This inspirer was her teacher, Mrs. White. Mrs. White taught her to treat everyone equally. Eventually, Rosa just felt bad for the people who mistreated her. Rosa had a happy childhood with lots of good and bad experiences. As Rosa grew older, so did her grandmother. One day, she became very ill. Rosa had to discontinue going to school to take care of her grandmother and clean houses instead. She even had to move back to Pine Level. Eventually, Rosa met her future husband, Raymond Parks. Rosa and Raymond got along very well. Even though there was a huge age difference, Rosa and Raymond didn't care. They were joined in holy matrimony on December of 1932 in Pine Level, Alabama. Even though they never had any kids, they had a long and happy marriage. Rosa eventually stopped cleaning houses and became a stewardess. She absolutely adored her job. Raymond also helped cultivate ways to help other African Americans. For most of Rosa's life, she was a lower or middle class citizen. Rosa was always an esteemable wife and a skilled seamstress. As Rosa discovered more about the many problems for African Americans, she started to aid Raymond with his work. She even did most of her work with Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. One day when Rosa was on her way home from work on the bus, she was told to move to a different spot. Rosa did not move. She was tired and didn't want to do things for white people anymore. So since Rosa refused, the police took her to jail instead. The next day, all African Americans began protesting the buses. This protest was known as the Montgomery Bus Boycott. They stayed off the buses for a whole year. Since barely anyone was riding the buses, they even had to shut them down. Most people just walked to where they needed to go. If they were older or couldn't walk, the church had a car they could be picked up and dropped off in. After a year of walking and protesting, segregation on buses was banned and Rosa was freed. Rosa lived the rest of her life happily with Raymond at home. She died on October 24, 2005 in Detroit, Michigan at the age of 92. Rosa Parks was an inspiration to all she met. She was brave, smart, and even courageous. If Rosa Parks had moved that day on the bus, things might have been very different, but she didn't move. Rosa Parks took a stand by sitting down.